What's up YouTube? My fired up people. It's Water Change Tuesday. I already posted the pics up on the website today. Go check them out. But there was an interesting topic that came up in the uh, chat room for the last couple of days about melting of plants. And I'm going to talk particularly about stem plants, my wisterias. Depending on your water parameters, if you're just now introducing that plant to your aquarium, yes, there will be melting. As a um, Mr. Uh, Mom is explaining his uh, video about this. As you know, I just got through setting this 10 gallon up in my bedroom. And I went ahead and put some uh, smaller clippings of the wisterias in here just to get the uh, excessive nutrients in check. Just to make sure we don't have algae bloom, which, knock on wood, we don't have it yet. So, as you can see, we got the melting of these bottom leaves here so either they would like I said just keep on melting and fall off completely like this one's going light but the way you can know that your plants are doing good though look at this you see the curviness of the new leaves look at that that's a good sign saying that your stems are starting to accept to the water parameters Another question was, should you uproot them and break them in half of where the ugly parts are and replant them again? Yes and no on that topic. And the reason why I say that, if you don't have roots like that shooting out yet from your stems, you see that one right there, that little white one sticking off the side down there on the bottom, you will more likely have those plants do it all over again if you don't have uh, established roots. Because when you pull them up, you're going to see that you have roots already down there like you see right there on that one the same one I just got through showing and then you got this one right here shooting off this one so and then there's another one so basically yes and no on that uh, debate if you just don't care to look at the uh, bottom of the plants just snip off those leaves and that, that's one way I recommend doing it or like I said if you want to go ahead and uproot them and just try to not cut all the way up to the roots that are coming out so, you know, when you're replanting it, you ain't, break, you know, putting the roots too deep into the substrate so they can't establish again. So, that's the discussion I have on that. My info, my opinion. So, once again, this is the 10 gallon. It's getting ready to be having a, a betta in there, some tetras as well, maybe two bettas. Got the betta sand in there that had uh, live bacteria in it. Just one more thing to help get this started up. Got the bio and the C, uh, Flugel U1 internal filter, and of course the noisy Flugel C3. Got to take the lid off at night so it's not as noisy, but it's doing good. It has the bio in it as well, the five stage. Well, yep, that's the 10 gallon for y'all. It's coming together nicely, and we're going to have to fish in here soon. Oh, and on a personal note, Roll Tide, number one today, so fired up. As always, welcome new subscribers. Please rate, comment, and I'll check you out on the next video. Later.